feel peace with the ones I can so. Hi, I'm Sinead. And I'm Nita, and today we're talking all about the pirate sword. talking about the silky sugawaza mm. so you may have seen it before but you may haven't but this is the saw that you take to fancy dress parties yeah not really <laughs> we just joke around the office that this is like the pirate saw and if you go to a fancy dress this is what we'd take as our like pirate knife saw dagger thing but clearly yeah. bad idea no no, no. no. <laughs> unless you don't drink <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, but the reason why we call it a pirate saw is because of the slip guard on this particular saw. Mm. So it makes it a very safe version yes. of all the other saws. Um, but yes, you may have seen, feel like you've seen it before. Mm. But this is basically the, this one here is the, what would you say? The better looking twin. <laughs> So yeah, these are twins, but that one got a bit extra, so it's the better looking one. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, so the, well, so we don't confuse you, we'll just put that one aside. Yeah. Um, but this particular saw, I absolutely love it when I am cutting with it, because it is such a beautiful, smooth cutting saw. Mm. What you would say for a large, a large hand saw. So the Sugawaza is in our range of alternatives to small chainsaws. Yep. So they will cut up to 30 centimeters in diameter without too much problem. We um, are going to do a demo later showing you the Sugawaza cutting something about the size of our wrist and arm and then something big and chunky like this. But I'm going to do a shout out just to confuse everyone at this point. This little tree here I removed <laughs> on the way to work this morning <laughs> from home. But all I had in the car was a little Gomboy 240. And this little beautiful saw cut this beast of a piece of wood here. So pretty amazing for a little saw like a Gomboy to achieve this. And it didn't take me that long. It was amazing. Right. So you can just imagine how incredible the Sugawaza is going to be when we chop that up later. But yeah, wait for that. <laughs> I was going to say, well, we've got to get to them. <laughs> yeah, no, so first we're going to do the specs and the features on the Sugawaza. So like Sinead said, it is the better looking version of the Sugawaza 420. Uh, but features that both the Sugawaza and the Sugawaza 420 share are. Yeah. So the features of these two are they have a very they have the exact same blade. So they have the exact same tooth style um, and tooth shape, which is a non-set tooth, and the tooth style is mirror me. So it's not really an aggressive tooth, as in it's a a wedge sort of shaped tooth that gives a super smooth beautiful cut but it is a big tooth yes. so you could say it's aggressive in the fact that the tooth is so large but the actual style of cut is not an aggressive cut no it's very mm. like i was saying before a very smooth cutting source yeah. compared to the, like for a large for a large tooth saw yeah uh what else it has can you sharpen it yes you can sharpen this particular saw because yes. um, it is a non-set tooth. Yep, and what you need to sharpen it is the silky file. Yeah, so we have the silky file just here. So it's a flat diamond shaped file, mm -hmm. which is still in its little case just here. Yeah, so very, very narrow, but like Sinead said, shaped like a diamond. Yeah, and if you want any more information on the file, just um, shoot us an email and we'll... Yeah, and we've made a couple of YouTube it. videos on it too, so have a look for them. Yep. So sharpenable, has the beautiful smooth cut. Um, special features about the blade is what these lines that are on the sides of the blades. Yep, so that is hollow grinded. Yes. Yeah, so that means the very, very center of the blade is mm -hmm. the very thinnest part of the blade, yep. which makes it a lot more smoother to use because there is less friction um, mm -hmm. between the saw and the two branches. Yeah. The other thing is, there's a little bit of debate about taper grinding, hollow grinding, good or bad, yada yada yada. So with Silky, they have they figured out the perfect angle to hollow grind their blades to. So it's concave. So that, as Shanae said, the skinniest part is the center of the blade here, and then it goes a bit wider on the spine, and then the teeth are the widest section. Now, with the angle that they've worked out to do that to, what it actually does is it encourages the wood chip to wriggle away from the teeth and up to the top of the blade and flick out of the actual cut. So that's not filling up your cut with wood chips, which is gonna cause the sort of jam, pinch, and sort of stick as you're cutting with it. So really cool design, very oh, clever. Yeah. The Japanese um, Silky team are just 
amazing in their engineering and these different things that they figure out but that's what it does it, it creates this incredible movement of wood chip which works just brilliantly as long as you keep them rust free yes <laughs> we'll talk about that later <laughs> <laughs> yeah so this the benefit of having the rounded tip at the end is that you won't damage the other surrounding branches that you don't Stabbing want to cut things, don't yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's also good opposed to a pointed edge where it won't get caught on things yeah uh, now they also do a special coating on the blade to give it a protection from rust and resin But as we always say on our videos, please clean them and spray them with a lubricant to prevent any rust buildup Because in Australia our saps are quite acidic and it will eat through that chrome coating But that is there to give it a degree of protection mm -hmm. Yeah, so Silky's cut on the pull stroke not the push stroke So ideally your hand would never be slipping down the blade anyway mm -hmm. however if you're cutting big branches, sometimes a bit of force can end up going in both directions. So it is a great safety feature to have that safety bar there. And it's also sort of a, I guess, a positioning for where you can put your hand as well. So it is a, a pretty cool little feature to have that safety bar on the Sugawaza. Yep. Um, the teeth size on this particular saw is 6.5 teeth per 3 centimetres. Mm, so they're pretty big teeth. Yes, they are. Yeah. But because of that style of tooth Sinead mentioned earlier, the Mirror Me Tooth, that means that the, the teeth will give a very easy feeling cut. So even though it's a big tooth, it's not going to feel like hard work when you're cutting with it. The handle on the, you might have to cut that and make it shorter because we're pausing. I know. Do you want to mention the handle, the special gum rubber? I'm so distracted, I wish I'd just ask them about the stupid wedding thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, the handles? The handle, yes. Uh, the blade goes into the handle or just gum rubber? Both. Alright. Another brilliant thing about the Sugawaza is that it has a full tang blade. So that mm. means the blade continues going straight on through the handle. Mm. So that will make it um, a little bit more stronger uh, compared to your other saws because you've got more of that strength going straight through the blade. So and it allows it to flex. So when yep. the blade does flex, that's absorbed through the handle and that continues to flex through there. So less chance of snapping blades. Yes. And we want to avoid that as yep. much as possible. <laughs> <laughs> so, that, so that is inside the handle, but on the outside of the handle, the handle is made from um, a special rubber called gum rubber. So this mm. is Silky uses throughout all their hand saws and Silky yep. is the only to one yep. to use the special gum rubber. So yes. basically... The brilliant thing behind this is when, if you, especially if you're working, working in slippery conditions mm. or when you're working for long periods of time and your hand gets sweaty, the more grippier this gets on the handle. Yeah. Um, so another safety position um, for ever sliding your hand down the blade. Yeah, yeah. And the other thing the gum rubber do is it absorbs vibration. So it makes it really comfortable because as we said, this is a alternative to a small chainsaw. It's designed for bigger cutting. So you're going to get a little bit of vibration. So that rubber sort of absorbs that and you don't get that funny tingly feeling through the hand. And yeah, much more comfortable. Yes. And the hook shape at the end, I love. The hook shape here mm. as well is your pinky can just rest on it. Yeah, it's like a little pinky back rest. <laughs> yeah. For your finger, but it, it gives you confidence because you are putting pressure on the pull direction. Yeah. So therefore, it, your hand's not in a way wanting to pull off the handle because it's got that um, bit of bit of um, what is the word? Support. Support. That's the word. Bit of support. <laughs> English can be so hard sometimes. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And then there is also a metal loop at the end of the handle. Yes, it is. So that is for if you want to put a carabiner on it. Um, or attach something else, it's an attachment piece. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so let's do some demos on it because that is pretty much the specs. The Sukawaza is a pull saw only. So the best way to remember is you want to start the cut at the handle and draw that saw towards you. So you just start that cut at the handle. I don't remember spider on me. Draw that, that saw towards you.
See, it vibrated because I lifted it at that point. Yeah. Mm. awkward as this is not attached to anything. so impressive to you guys but oh my goodness that was so difficult because I had this bright idea that I'd bring this piece of wood in and we'd put it in the vise on our table to hold it still and then we could cut it but it's too big for the vise so this would not fit into the vise so we had to try and balance it on the table and cut at the same time very difficult to put the appropriate pressure on it yep. very difficult to pull properly but it'll give you an idea of worst case scenario the absolute worst it'll work it was like 10 times faster when i cut it off the actual tree trunk at home but anyway that gives you an idea we managed to cut two pieces off took a little longer than it should have but the super wazza is amazing chopping that off if you're in a full drive situation or just need to finish the tree off you will love the super wazza and just from holding that piece of wood, I don't think I need to go to the gym today. <laughs> Not that I go anyway, but still. <laughs> all right, well, thanks for watching our video today. We hope that has enlightened you on what the Sugawaza is all about and who's going to be using it. We haven't really mentioned who that is. That is Home Gardens. Arborists. People wanting something for fall driving and camping. This is brilliant. No fumes, no oil, no smells. Works every time, as long as the tree's stable. No. <laughs> oh, and it's, it's a cheap gym workout should you you know want to do some random cutting for no good reason no, there you go yeah. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed the video please subscribe we love yes. hearing from you so comment and also like this video yes but we hope you enjoy the rest of your week and we will see you next time bye bye <laughs>